press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Good morning, everybody. After a long time, we are meeting again. Uh, let us uh, continue the bridge course with uh, trigonometric functions that you have studied in your 10th standard. Basically, what is uh, trigonometry? Tri means 3, Gano means angles, Metri means measurement. You know it already. The branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of three angles system. Three angles system and the out on It is nothing but triangle. No rate. Triangle is one of the branches of mathematics. Triangle in the study of trigonometry. So it is the branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of three angles system. In the trigonometry, we have studied six functions or ratios which are collectively called trigonometric ratios. These trigonometric ratios are defined as you know already with reference to a right angled triangle. So can anybody define what is a trigonometric ratio or a trigonometric function? What is a trigonometric ratio or a trigonometric function? This is a right angled triangle, as you know already. Right angled at B. What is the trigonometric ratio? Naina, Naina GM, Amsashri, Yaka Kanta, Illala, Bandil, Vajayana, Ilva, Saujanya, Kashap, Shashikala, JS. Dishan, Junaid Ahmad, what is a trigonometric ratio? Kirtana, oh, good morning. Okay, continue. Oh, Yigi join Akhtai there. Pranati, good morning. I have asked a question. What is a trigonometric ratio or a trigonometric function? Amsa Shri, thank you. You have joined now. Prutvi. Prutvi, sign. Now, my question is the definition. I am asking the definition of a trigonometric function. Rohit, yes, listen me carefully. The ratio between any two sides of a triangle, right angled triangle, that is most important. Ratio on the extra side spectrum, error sides. The ratio between any two sides of a right angled triangle, once again, the ratio between any two sides of a right angled triangle. The ratio between any two sides of a right angled triangle is called trigonometric ratio. Shreya, you have written the definition as a ratio between the lengths of a pair of two sides of a right angled triangle. Exactly correct. Nisha, which deals with the sides angle and right angle. Santosh. You have given opposite adjacent hypotenuse like that. Uh, the right definition is uh, Shreya BM has answered it and also Divya KM. The ratio of the sides of a right angle triangle with respect to any of its acute angles 
are known as the trigonometric ratios of that particular angle. Exactly correct. There must be a reference angle. Let us take that reference angle as theta. Reference angle as theta. And as you know already, the longest side of a right angle triangle is hypotenuse. So you can call hypotenuse as AC. AC is the hypotenuse. The side opposite to theta, which is a reference angle, the side opposite to theta is opposite side. And the remaining side, which is adjacent to theta, is called adjacent side. <coughs> now, theta yenadru sinali idre. Theta sinali idre. Opposite side yenagate. AB yadru. Theta yenali to andre. Opposite side yenagate. BC yadru. Just observe the relativity. Agidra opposite side or adjacent side another fix agir Allah. Opposite side or adjacent side another yadru mail depend agirate. Y reference angle mail depend agate. Theta yena dru yena li to andre. Opposite side BC agate. Adjacent side AB agate. But the position of hypotenuse is always fixed. Hypotenuse in a position yena di ala diya waglu kura yena agate. Fix agate. There are six trigonometric ratios. There are three sides for a right angle triangle. To define, to define a ratio, we require two sides. So, three into two. How many ratios can be possible? Six ratios. So, you can define those six ratios as sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, Cosec theta, secant theta, and cot theta. These are the six trigonometric ratios. How do you define sin theta? You have already studied this. Opposite side by hypotenuse which is the opposite side here AB and what is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle AC what is cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse what is adjacent side of this right angle triangle BC and what is hypotenuse? AC. And what is the tan theta? Opposite side by adjacent side. What is opposite side? AB. What is adjacent side? BC. So these are six, three basic trigonometric ratios. And cosecant theta can be defined as Hypotenuse by opposite. Hypotenuse by opposite. So, what is hypotenuse? AC. By opposite is AB. And how do you define secant theta? Hypotenuse by adjacent. Hypotenuse by adjacent. Which is hypotenuse? Once again AC. And which is adjacent? BC. What is cot theta? Adjacent by opposite. Adjacent is BC and opposite side is AB. So this, this is how you can define the six trigonometric ratios. And you can observe one important thing that sin theta can be defined as opposite by hypotenuse. Cosec theta can be defined as hypotenuse by opposite. It means cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sin theta. Cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sin theta. Similarly, cos theta can be defined as adjacent by hypotenuse, whereas secant theta can be defined as hypotenuse by adjacent. So, cosec secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. Similarly, 
tan theta is defined as opposite by adjacent whereas cot theta is defined as adjacent by opposite. So, tan theta and cot theta they are the reciprocals of each other. So, you have three pair of reciprocal functions in the trigonometry that you must know. So, let us list out reciprocal reciprocal functions reciprocal functions first one is cosec theta is 1 by sin theta or product of sin theta and cosec theta is always equal to 1. And the second is secant theta is 1 by cos theta. So, product of cos theta and secant theta which are reciprocals of each other must be equal to 1. Cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta. So, product of tan theta and cot theta, product of tan theta and cot theta is always equal to 1. So, this is, these are the three pair of reciprocal relations that we have in trigonometry. And the cosec theta is the reciprocal of sin or sin is the reciprocal of cosec, secant is the reciprocal of cos or cos is the reciprocal of secant. Cot is the reciprocal of tan or tan is the reciprocal of cot. Now, you can also write tan theta as sin theta by cos theta. This relation is required for doing the identities. Cot theta which is the reciprocal of tan theta can also be written as cos theta by sin theta. So, is to namage e functions galalli nao kalthukothi reciprocal functions. Ith adhamele Pythagorean relations anta vandhu concept parutte. Alli moor relations galu parutthave adhanu kuda niu kalthi dhiri. But Pythagorean relations anta heading alli kali dhe irubo hudu. Avon nao yele nodi thakshna gotta gatthe ni. Pythagorean relations. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta and then 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. So, these are the Pythagorean relations. So, which can be proved again by considering the right angle triangle. Okay. Illa ni mage complementary functions na illa hel bodo bada ina do sa tawo te nala do sa. So is to Pythagorean relations. Is to adu mele next concept na barode yau dekhe standard angles ke bar. So before coming to standard angles, let us do some problems on these relations. Okay. Let us take one by one. In a triangle ABC. So, please take down the problem. Probably you might have studied these problems in right angled triangle, right angled triangle ABC. In a right angled triangle ABC with angle B is equal to 90 degree with angle B is equal to 90 degree. If AB is equal to, if AB is equal to 24 centimeter, BC is equal to 7 centimeter, calculate, calculate, 
फर्स्ट वन देर आर टू प्रॉब्लम हियर साइन ए कास गए एंड द सेकेंड वन साइन सी कास सो दीज मस्ट बी कैलकुलेटेड साइन ए कास गए एंड साइन सी कास so look at this problem first i have to write the right angle the triangle this is a this is b this is c because right angle that b anta helidu so angle b is equal to 90 degree what is ab 24 cm and what is bc 7 cm so he has given the opposite sides and adjacent sides are two legs of the right angle triangle opposite adjacent ana helbekandre na velli hogbeku mattu reference angle beke beku let us say the legs of the right angled triangle now using the legs of the right angled triangle we can also make use of we can find hypotenuse s siddheshwari siddheshwari ts you have written I have answered correctly. The hypotenuse is 25 centimeter. Let us find AC using the Pythagoras theorem. AC square is equal to. Shall I take it directly? 24 square plus 7 square, which is equal to 576 plus 49. That gives you 625. Therefore, AC must be equal to 25 centimeter. so we come to know the value of hypotenuse using this value you can find sin a what is sin a nodi angle a reference agutte iga angle a reference agutte what is sin a opposite a ge opposite side tagolbeku yavudu bc by hypotenuse is ac what is bc 7 what is hypotenuse 25 and then cos a cos a cos a andre a ge hypotenuse aitu opposite aitu a ge adjacent side yavada gatte ab yes ab again the hypotenuse remains the same what is ab now 24 by 25 so now sin c nodi c reference angle agutte iga yavud agutte reference angle c agutte c ge opposite side yavudu c ge opposite side yavudu iga ab by ac what is ab 24 by 25 cos c again c ge adjacent side yavud agutte bc by ac what is bc now 7 by ac is 25 so 24 by 25 and 7 by 25 so this is how you can find 23 barala la pramod 23 barala 25 varu okay now let us take one more problem जस्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेले प्रॉब्लम वर्क रईट आंगल ट्रांगल ओके जस्ट वो प्रॉब्लम व्याल्यूस ट्वेलव मत थर्टीन फैंड find tan p minus cot r very good question tan p minus cot r yen adu artha here one of the two legs is given and the other leg is to be found first you have to find qr qr ana kandidibe see P R square is equal to P Q square plus Q R square. What is P R square? Thirteen square. P 
PQ square is 12 square plus QR square 169 minus 144 is equal to QR square. QR square is equal to 25. Therefore, what is QR5? So, QR got type. It's type of 5 I Tan P find out Madhavakagi then you know. Tan P. Angle P. Angle P ge. Opposite reference angle laga the opposite side yao diga. QR by adjacent is PQ. What is QR? 5. What is PQ? 12. Cot R. Cot R. What is the R is the reference angle. What is cot definition? Adjacent by opposite. Which is adjacent now? QR. What is opposite now? PQ. So again, you are getting the same result. 5 by 12. Therefore, tan P minus cot R is equal to 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12. So that gives you 0. Veena M Angadi, exactly correct. Srishti Gauda. Cot R is 5 by 12, correct? Veena, the final answer put it here, 0. Pramod Patil, Divya KM, both of, uh, all of you have given the answer as 0. You are on the track, exactly correct. Srishti Gauda, you have also written the answer as 0, exactly correct. Now let us move towards one more problem. Over. Next, if sin A is equal to 3 by 4, sin A is equal to 3 by 4, find if sin A is equal to 3 by 4, find cos A and tan A. cos A and tan A. Very simple question. Now first you have to write the right angle triangle. This is A. Sin A is 3 by 4. A is opposite side of the BC. This becomes 3. This becomes 4. You need to find the hypotenuse now. Not a either reference angle like that. AC square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. 9 plus 16, 25. Therefore, what is AC now? 5. AC now? 5. Clearly, you can define cos A. Therefore, what is cos A? Not a ega adjacent out of AB by AC. What is AB? AB is 4. What is AC? 5. And then tan A. Tan A. Tan is opposite by adjacent. BC by AB. What is BC? 3. By AB is 4. BC by AB. So these are the values of tan A and cos A. Okay. Pramod. Root 7 brother opposite to adjacent 4, 3 daga hypotenuse and agata 5 agata. Okay. Now let us take one more problem.
एफ फिफ्टीन कॉट ए इज इक्वल टू एट फाइंड फाइंड साइन ए एंड सीकेंट ए साइन ए एंड सीकेंट सो कॉट ए ऐन नोड्री व्याल्यू एट बै फिफ्टीन आगत एट बै फिफ्टीन This is A. This is B. This is C. Cot A. अंदर ये रेफरेंस एंगल लगी थे. Cot अंदर है ना. Adjacent by opposite. Tan अंदर है ना. Opposite by adjacent. Cot अंदर है ना. Adjacent by opposite. So adjacent is eight. Opposite is fifteen. So you can come to know that hypotenuse is seventeen. So Deshwari. Sin means opposite by hypotenuse. Change my idea. Sin. Oh, sorry. Exactly correct. Correct. I mean, really the. You know, problem is change my idea. Better. No, sorry. Siddheshwari is correct. Three, four is there. Opposite by hypotenuse. Exactly correct. Sorry. Three by four. So four square is equal to a b square plus three square. Sixteen minus nine is equal to a b square. You are exactly correct. What is a b? Root seven. So this is a root seven. Okay. What is cos a? A b by a c. What is a b now? Root seven. By AC is four, and this is tan A. BC by AB. What is BC? Three. By what is AB? Root seven. Correct it. You get it. Longest side is hypotenuse. Correct it. Nisha. Sin A is root seven by sin A. Agar la cos A. Cos A is root seven by four. Siddhartha. Longest side hypotenuse. Hypotenuse longest side, no doubt. Amsashri BC is three, AC is four. Just I have corrected it. Okay. Now let us take cot A is equal to eight by fifteen. Cot A, cot A. Hypotenuse by opposite, eight by fifteen. So, इल्ली नालक के triplet करना ना जास्ती use मारती है ना रे वंदो three four five. इन फै ट्वेलव थर्टीन इन एट फिफ्टीन सेवेंटीन इन सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फैव इन ना जास्ती ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ना यूज इे फ्रीक्वे या पदे 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 फैंडल अवॉड आगत ओके सैन ए कैदाने वाट इज सैन ए अपोजिट सैड बीसी बै एसी What is BC? 15 by AC is 17, and then you need to find secant A. What is secant A? Secant A. Secant is reciprocal of cos. Hypotenuse by adjacent. Hypotenuse is AC by adjacent for A is AB. So what is AC? Seventeen. And what is AB? Eight. So this is secant A. Pramod Patil, you have answered it correctly. Ananya, fifteen by seventeen is the value of sine. Exactly correct. Now let us take one more problem. I hope you can do this without my assistance. If a secant theta, get ready, is equal to thirteen by twelve. Calculate calculate the other 
calculate the other trigonometric ratios. So that is one trigonometric ratio is given. You have to find the remaining five trigonometric ratios. This is cot theta, secant theta, hypotenuse by opposite. Definitely, this must become five. Ega, all of them define marvi sine, cos, tan, cot, cosec, secant. The yes, sign is 5 by 13, Siddheshwari, exactly correct. Nagaraj, correct. Santosh Reddy, Abhishek. Uh, Siddheshwari, cos is 12 by 13, that is also correct. Shivatmaja, sign correct. Divya, sign correct. Junaid, sign correct. Nagaraj, 12 by 13 is correct. Siddheshwari, tan is 5 by 12, exactly correct. Ah, Srushti Gauda has written in a single step. Sin is 5 by 13, cos is 12 by 13, tan is 5 by 12, cot is 12 by 5, secant is 13 by 12, cosec is 13 by 5. Exactly correct. Okay. Now let us uh, uh, move towards one more problem. If a cot theta is equal to 7 by 8, If cot theta is equal to 7 by 8, calculate one plus sin theta into one minus sin theta divided by one plus cos theta into one minus cos theta. Identities use simplify Theta. Cot and rain. Adjacent by opposite. 7 by 8. Which is the reciprocal of tan. So now you can find the hypotenuse side. AC square is equal to. 8 square plus 7 square that is 64 plus 49. So 113 Agatha. Therefore, can you write AC as root 113? Root 113. Okay. 100 either 9 plus 4, 13. So AC becomes root 113. Now let us simplify this identity. 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta is 1 minus sin square theta divided by 1 minus cos square theta. That is a plus b into a minus b. Similarly, a plus b into a minus b. Using the Pythagorean relation, you can write 1 minus sin square theta as cos square theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta value is 1. sin square theta plus cos square theta value is 1. So, most of you are writing the right answer. Cos square theta by 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. So, you can write this as cos theta by sin theta whole square. Am I correct? What is cos theta by sin theta? Cot theta, whole square. What is cot theta? By means of this triangle, what is cot theta? 
cot theta is given to be 7 by 8. No need of writing the triangle Beke Erli Lalva. 7 by 8. 7 square is 49. 8 square is 64. Exactly correct. Most of you have written Nisha, Divya, Veenaya Mangani, Chaya Babu, Chandana, Bibi, Shushti Gauda, Siddheshwari TS, Ananya, Kirtana, Santosh Reddy, Vishukumar, Nagatanmai, Tan square theta baralapa nagatanmai, cot square theta baralapa. Okay, Nagaraj, yes, you have written the answer correctly. Next. If a 3 cot A is equal to 4, If seven. If three cot A is equal to four, verify verify whether one minus tan square A by one plus tan square A is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or not or not so what is given cot a is equal to 4 by 3 Yelva reference angle is 4 by 3 adjacent by opposite. So hypotenuse becomes 5. Now let us consider this one. One minus tan square a divided by one plus tan square a. One minus from this triangle, what is tan A? 3 by 4. Whole square. Divide by 1 plus 3 by 4. Whole square. Okay. 1 minus 9 by 16. Whole divide by 1 plus 9 by 16. Now 16 is the LCM. 16 minus 9. Divide by 16 plus 9. LCM of the numerator and denominator can be cancelled. Sixteen minus nine is seven. Sixteen plus nine is twenty-five. So this is the value of one minus tan square a by one plus tan square a. Let us call this expression as one. And then let us take one more expression is there that is cos square a minus sin square a. What is cos a? Cos a adjacent by hypotenuse 4 by 5 whole square minus sin a opposite by adjacent hypotenuse 3 by 5 whole square. This is 16 by 25 minus 9 by 25 that gives you 7 by 25 again it is also equal to 7 by 25 so from 1 and 2 what you can conclude 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is same as cos square a minus sin square a. cos square a minus sin square a. 7 by 25 per 
ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ಸಾಕು ಇನ್ನ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಇನ್ನೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿಸಿ ನಾನು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಸೇಫ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್